Hi, I'm Emre. I am an early career researcher and physiotherapist. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm a clinical physiotherapist. I'm Professor Julia Hush. I'm a physiotherapist with a passion for evidence-based physiotherapy. As a student, I was taught by one of the amazing people who founded Pedro, Professor Rob Herbert. We actually did the training program when I was doing my Masters of Musculoskeletal and Sports Physiotherapy and as part of our course curriculum, we undertook the program. When I was doing my physiotherapy training, one of my lecturers told me about Pedro um, and how Pedro was looking for raiders and they were especially in need of raiders who were fluent in other languages in addition to English. So I decided to contact Pedro to put my hand up to help. I accessed training direct, directly through the Pedro website. It was self-paced, so I could pause and repeat content as much as I liked at any time. There was also support from the Pedro team if I had any queries throughout the training. The training was great. It was easy to follow. It took me through each of the steps in a time that suited me and I was able to do it from the comfort of my own home. I like the specific way it clarified the steps of the assessment and I really like the way it dealt with any questions of ambiguity and how to problem solve around some of the trickier questions that would arise when reviewing papers. I liked that I could check how well I was doing at the end of the training so I knew that I was writing the papers correctly. Some months I have four to five papers, but there are months where there are none. The Pedro team are great at reducing my load when I have a lot on, but likewise, I can increase the amount I review when I have time available. When I started, an article would take me between 10 to 15 minutes, but after a couple of months of, of rating, I'm able to, to rate papers within five minutes. I currently read about four trials a month. I've had breaks around important life events and I even took a few years off once. And I was able to resume rating without really any difficulty. I recommend all of my HDR students um, become involved as Pedro reviewers. And I've even had some undergraduate students get involved too. You can nominate articles in areas of physiotherapy that are highly relevant to your research project, uh, as well as your clinical interests. So that means that this practice will really help you stay current with cutting edge uh, research evidence in your field. I could do it from where I live in rural South Australia, I could do it from the city. Being a Pedro Brader is a really great way to improve my understanding of research and really sustain and build on how these papers apply to my patients. It hasn't required a huge time commitment. Being a Pedro Raider has been a really rewarding way to contribute to the physiotherapy research profession. Everyone has the potential to be a Pedro reviewer. If you're unsure whether it's for you, just give it a try. You'll become part of the amazing international team of physiotherapists that makes up Pedro. And you'll know that you're contributing to resources that physiotherapists around the world use every day to optimise evidence-based care for their patients. <laughs>